And we built this uh, in two phases. Really, the first phase was to look at the as-is or damaged condition of the spillway. And uh, we did some tests and wrote many tests on that to evaluate conditions to give engineers uh, in California some idea of you know, what to expect if they were unable to rebuild the spillway during this construction season. So the model is being used to provide engineers with data and uh, the spillway is necessary on the Oroville Dam to uh, safely release floodwaters. As the reservoir elevation gets too high, they can open up floodgates that then release water down the chute and uh, are able to you know, protect the dam through the release. So uh, it's very similar to the original uh, structure. They're looking at, uh, as far as hydraulically goes, the shape is very similar. They're looking at the possibility of adding aerators to the chute, which is a, an improvement that uh, wasn't uh, present in the original design. In fact, very few did that with did, you know, installed aerators and spillways. There are some other uh, things with regard to the shape of the vertical curve where it transitions and, and the curves, curves down. They're changing that slightly. Just very minor, minor changes, but very, very similar structure that should have very similar performance. And I should mention that the original structure, hydraulically, was a very sound structure. It served for 50 years very well. There were conditions in California this year that are yet to be determined, uh, the root cause of the failure, but that uh, forensic team uh, that's been assembled will be looking at that. The water velocity, just to give you a feel for this, uh, as you look at the chute down here toward the end, the water velocity in the prototype is approaching 120 to 130 feet per second. That is roaring down that chute. And so with that, you can imagine uh, there's just a ton of energy, a ton of power available. And so to safely dissipate that, you know, this chute is a really good design for that. And with the experts that they've assembled uh, in doing the, you know, the reconfigure the design, they've determined that yes, this shape is the, the hydraulically most friendly shape configuration to use to pass the water to dissipate the energy.